Hey there! Today we're going to cover one of the most common mistakes that golfers make in their swing, a sway. And a sway is the body's lateral movement in the swing as opposed to the rotational movement in the swing. And what we're going to do is a little, a little bit different today. We're going to cover this from two different angles. One is from a golf teacher's perspective where I'm going to share with you two drills to help you fix your sway. And then Nika is going to jump in and share with you a golf fitness perspective of how to make your body work more functionally to prevent that sway. So let's get to the golf portion. What I'd love for you to do is find your shadow in the backyard so you can see mine behind me. And I want you to lay a club down, splitting yourself in half, where you center the club right over your body. And then I want you to practice taking some back swings. If I'm taking a back swing and I'm swaying, I'm going to see it. If I'm just rotating, I'm also going to see it. And it's a very simple way of checking, am I rotating or am I swaying? Another really simple golf exercise that you can do is to grab a glass of water. So what I've done here is taken a glass, filled it about halfway up, and I want you to take your setup, holding the glass at the bottom. And I want you to practice turning the cup back. So see how I'm turning it and none of the water is spilling. I'm turning it back in my backswing and none of the water is spilling. If I sway, the water is going to come out. If I'm using my arms, the water is going to come out. Definitely do this outside, but it's a very simple way of checking if you're swaying. So try the water in the cup, try the shadow outside, and it's a great way to get you to rotate as opposed to sway. Now here's Nika. Hi everyone, it's Nika. To follow up on what Tasha was saying, when we're looking at the sway from a golf fitness perspective, we're looking at two things. We're looking at mobility in your thoracic spine, being able to twist here, but then also some stability in the lower body, right? So you can engage your glutes so you don't sway off to that side. So that lower body stability and balance, all of that is also super important. So we'll tackle it from both perspectives. First thing, upper body, you're going to hinge forward, feet, hip distance are a little wider. Right elbow inside the right thigh, left hand pressing against the left thigh. Reach your left arm to the center and then lengthen your spine. Try to get out of a rounded back and then lift and twist. And then back to center, press, lift and twist. So my lower body stays quiet as I twist in to my upper. And you'll do it on both sides, trying to twist around the spine, right? So that's your thoracic rotation. And then for the lower half, we're gonna go into a split stance lunge. So your left foot is forward, right foot back, just kind of a modified split stance. Square off your hips, and I'm gonna have you shift forward into this front leg and start floating that back leg off the ground, trying to square off your hips. So you'll find you're working your balance, you're having to work and engage that glute and sit into it. And you can even take it a little bit lower if you want, just till you get level with the ground. So you really build up engaging the glute and finding that lower body stability along with the balance on the single side. And you would do that on both sides. And that way you've attacked both aspects that are gonna affect your sway. Your upper body mobility in the thoracic spine and your lower body stability by working on the glute engagement, the stability and your balance.